Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be going through some of the AI upscaling options that you have available to you to help speed up your render times for images. Um, so here in Blender, I've just made a simple scene with some lights and different materials and stuff, just we've got uh, an image to kind of use this for. Um, you can see on my render settings, we've got the resolution um, at 1920 by 1920. Um, and what I did is I rendered out this scene uh, at 100%. So it was this full resolution. And then I rendered it out again at 50%, which is half the resolution. So at 100%, this took 56 seconds to render. And then when it was at 50%, it only took 15 seconds to render. So it's worth keeping in mind when we go to these websites, the kind of speed of the websites, because you've got to upload them, uh, run them, like run the enhancer and then download them. So if that took more than kind of 45 seconds for this specific image probably wouldn't be worth it um the main benefit would be if you're doing multiple images because you can just bang them out really quick um especially with some of them if you pay you can do like multiple images at the same time but let's just get straight into it we'll see the different websites and kind of the results that they provide when upscaling these images some will be better than others but yeah let's take a look here we are this is the 1920 by 1920 um image and you see that it's quite it's quite high res. There's a lot of detail we can zoom in just to sort of two hundred percent, and it still kind of holds up. It's still quite sharp. If we go down here, this is the half res uh, image, and you can see that obviously it's it's half the resolution. It's nowhere near as um, highly detailed. You can't zoom in as far. If we went to two hundred percent on this, it's it's quite muddy and quite blur blurry. Um, so if we just go back out here. Um, so this just gives us a good sort of test comparison. So the first AI upscaler I tried was um, Big JPEG. Uh, it's an AI image enlarger. Uh, you can select your images and do it through the web browser, or you can download uh, the free app, which you can download, which I've already done that. So go to Big JPEG. And how this works is you can select your image. So this is the half res render here. If we click this, hit start. And then we can do a two times upscaling, which will bring it back up to this resolution here. Um, so if we just hit OK here, you can see that this starts uploading and then it starts doing it. Um, and again, I've found that the app is quicker than the web browser. I think some of the slowness is just inherent to this because if you do upgrade, there are like different plans you can pay for, uh, which gives you faster processing. Um, I'm just gonna close this off because I have I have already done, that, done it. Um, so if I just press, uh, if I just place here the half res enlarged version, we can bring that in. So this is the big JPEG uh, render. So we just go to 100% here. Um, you can see that, so this is the original version directly out of cycles at the full resolution. If we enable the big JPEG version, you can see that things kind of get instantly just a bit muddier. So considering how much it's blown it up, so it's two times bigger, and this took 15 seconds to render, the half res version versus 56 seconds was how long the full version took. Um, you see, it's, it's not too bad, uh, it's not great, but again, if you had the kind of, the premium tier and you could parallel, and you could parallel uh, enlarge images, I could see why that'd be quite good for animations. Um, so that's the big JPEG version. Uh, let's just try, what I'm going to try is I'm going to bring this up here um, as a copy. I'm just going to call this the Photoshop version. And I'm going to bring this over. And we'll just control T and just enlarge this ourselves just, just through the normal transform tools. So that's the Photoshop version. And it's not actually that much different, I'd say, than the big JPEG version, to be honest. In fact, I don't think there's any difference there, really. That's to me, that's the exact same image. So um, that's a good kind of test case. So the other, um, so another AI image scaler uh, I thought I'd try out was this um, Icons 8. They have a smart scaler. You only get a certain amount. So there was three free images I got. Um, so with this, you only get three free images. Um, I've already used one because I've already done this, but so we can upload that. You can see that there's the original. This one's in the queue and it's uploading. Um, and once that's done, you can download. So you can see that was, this, was, this one was a lot quicker than um, Big JPEG, and it is all online. Um, and we can see just here that the quality 
looks quite good. But if we if we download this, and um, you can see that this has done it to two times, brought it in at 1920 by 1920. If we just drag this over into Photoshop, drop that in there, drag it above, and we'll call this the Icons 8 version. And just for the sake of make sure they're all in line, let's just center all of these. Okay, so here we are, 100%. So this is the Icons 8 version. So this is the Icons 8 version. That's the big JPEG version. Um, I'd say with big JPEG, there's a little bit more sort of clarity, but then you can see over here, so this is the big JPEG version. This is the Icons 8 version. Um, these artifacts are just gone completely on that version. So that to me, that's a lot better than the Icons 8 version. Um, if we compare that to the original render so here's the original render obviously it's not it's not perfect it's a bit more blurry on the icons 8 version compared to the original version but it holds up because again this the full resolution version took 56 seconds versus the half res took 15 seconds and then it took about an extra 10 seconds to upload it to icons 8 and download the new version so that's still half the time for I'd say more than half the quality, if that makes sense. So, so let's just compare the Icons 8 to the Photoshop version. So this was me, me just making it bigger within Photoshop. You can see you've got kind of all of these artifacts, uh, which again, just aren't there in the Icons 8 version. So it's pretty good. So here's another AI upscaler. Uh, we'll do two times again. Uh, let's just upload our re uh, half res render. We agree with all that. Hit continue. Watch an ad for stockphotos.com or shutterstock.com, should I say. So this is nearly uploaded. So that's done. Oh, and actually comes with a little before and after comparison. Um, let's download our new version. So this is uh, the stock photos upscaler. Let's bring that in. So I mean, again, it's done a very good job at getting rid of the um, artifacts so we compare the stock photo with the icons 8 version um the icons 8 version is a lot better it's still probably i'd say that's the best one so far um if we compare the stock photo with the big jpeg version yeah so the big jpeg version is really the artifacts are really muddy so again stock photo that's a very good one um Icons 8 is definitely my favorite so far though. Got another one here, um, the Zyro image upscaler. Again, get half res. So here's the upscaled version. Now we've got this nice slider. It's kind of hard to see at this sort of scale though. So let's just download that. And we'll see this one, I don't like it already. You have to put in our email address to download it. I've just put in an on-off kind of an off brand one that I don't really use. Um, let's drag this into Photoshop. So this is the Zyro image paired with the stock photo. So I mean the Zyro one just instantly doesn't look that great. There's no point comparing it with the other ones, uh, the Icons 8. Let's compare it with the big JPEG one. I mean they're pretty much indistinguishable. Like if we look here, so this is the big JPEG. That's the Zyro one. The artifacts are pretty much exactly in the exact same place. If anything, there's slightly more artifacts in the Zyro one. So that one's not the greatest. And let's just take a look at one final one here. Uh, let's enhance.io. Um, again, choose our half res image. This wants us to log in, it seems. Let's just see. Please create an account to start processing. So I'm not that happy with that, but let's just do it for the sake of the video. Okay, so I just signed in with Facebook. It was very easy. Um, I don't know why it's uploaded it twice. Let's just get rid of one of them. All right, that was strange. So we've got our half res one here. This is uploaded. Um, so if we, it's gonna take it to 1920 by 1920, which is what we want. Um, if we hit start processing, we'll just let that do its, it do its thing. It says a few minutes. Um, again, the, original large scale render took 
a minute, so this might not be worth the time. Okay, so that's done. If we um, hit download on this one, and we'll drag this over into Photoshop. Okay, so, I mean, at a distance, that almost looks indistinguishable from the 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 true high res version um but yeah when we get a bit closer you can see here there's a lot of like muddying there that's it's not done very well there um you can see here it's got this weird kind of warping it's not as bad as the artifacts from say the big jpeg version uh, i much prefer this kind of artifact in it's a bit easier to ignore but overall that is it's quite clean the this has been a bit of an issue but where it doesn't have the issue it seems very clean like on the floor here that seems quite good you still get a bit of artifacting but nowhere near as much if we compare that with the icons 8 version so the icons 8 version is still definitely the best one i've seen so far so there you have it there's five different sites there to use for ai um, upscaling uh, the results are mixed, but it could save you kind of time in a pinch if you just wanted to get a, a render out. Maybe you want, maybe you wanted to do a high resolution render, but it just wouldn't render in Blender. Um, and the only way to do it was to render out a half resolution. These AI upscaling websites seem like a very good way to kind of improve your render time so you can just reduce the resolution. Uh, it depends how, how crisp you want that clarity. But overall, I'm impressed with this, especially with the uh, Icons 8 version. It'd be great if in the comments below you could let me know which image you think is the kind of best one that's been upscaled. This is a bit of a different style of video, but if you liked it, it'd be great if you could hit the like button um, and obviously subscribe if you want to see more videos about game dev and Blender. But that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.